I'm gonna show you how to take your VS Code setup to the next level by installing and setting up my favorite font. Did I mention that it's free? What's up everyone, my name is James Quick, and I do weekly videos on web development related topics. And I do a lot with VS Code of setups and configurations and shortcuts and how to get the best out of it. I'm a huge fan of VS Code as you can probably imagine. And I get the same question over and over and over and over and over again of what font are you using? So I'm gonna tell you that it is Cascadia Code. It's a free font from Microsoft. Uh, really interesting that Microsoft has one of the more popular free fonts out there and obviously it works really well inside of VS Code. So I'm gonna walk you through how to set that up, uh, how to install it, how to get it set up inside of VS Code, and then also how to turn on fancy font ligatures, which there is a little bit of question about readability with that, so you can kind of make that decision for yourself, but I think they look really cool and I like them. So I'm gonna show you how to set up that part at the end as well. If you're interested in learning more about VS Code, I've got an entire course on Udemy that I'll put a link in the description below that you can check out. It teaches you everything you wanna know about VS Code, so you can go and check that out for more resources. So uh, I am inside of my VS Code here. I'm actually inside of a SvelteKit wand generator project. It's a project where you can generate a random wand in SvelteKit, uh, and I gave a talk about this at a conference recently. Interested in me doing a video on that? I'm planning on it, just let me know in the comments below as well. But you can see I've got kind of the default uh, font in here. And actually, if I go to settings and look at font, I don't have anything set for the font family. So this is just kind of like default and it just really doesn't look good. I, I kind of cringe seeing this. So let's go over to the browser. And if you search for Cascadia code, you'll find the GitHub repository. So under Microsoft slash Cascadia code, I'll include a link to that in the description as well. Uh, you can come down and it tells you a little bit about it. You can see the font ligatures. Uh, so we'll come back to that and set that up inside of VS Code as well. The arrows, super cool. I'm a big fan of them. Um, anyway, you can see all the characters and things. And then we'll go down to install and open uh, the releases tab. So in the releases tab, you can download the zip uh, for the most recent version. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to go ahead and open that. So I've got this folder open now. Uh, I got that zip unzipped. I've also got the font book app on Mac. Uh, set up as well. So this is, I'm going through this on uh, on a Mac, but you can uh, obviously go through and do this on Windows as well. So the one thing they recommend is to use the TTF variable font, uh, particularly for those on Windows and any other OS. So that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll back over and go into uh, the TTF. And I'm just going to go in and double click each of those. So on Mac, when I double click these, it's going to ask if I want to install. And I'll say yes for each one. Uh, you can actually select multiple of these and then click a bunch and it'll open all these windows, which is actually uh, kind of a neat little trick there. And so if you look now inside of uh, fonts, I have now my Cascadia code stuff is added inside of a font book on the Mac. Uh, so similar process on Windows, uh, you'll use these uh, TTF versions as well. So we've got all those set up. Now we can go in and actually uh, go into our settings and update the font family. And I'm not sure if this is gonna work, but I'm just gonna type Cascadia code in here. Uh, and I think, I guess that did work actually. So I was expecting in the past, usually I've done this with uh, with uh, quotes around it to make sure that that's getting picked up. But I think this is getting picked up well. So it already looks nice. Uh, this is obviously a major improvement on top of the default uh, font that you get. So I love this a lot, but you can take this one step further. So notice that we have like the triple equal sign and the arrow sign, and those are just kind of exactly what you'd expect. But I'm gonna show you how to turn on uh, font ligatures, which I think are really neat. So it's kind of weird that font ligatures are still a setting that you have to edit in the settings.json file. I'm not actually sure why that is, but uh, there's a little button here that says edit in settings.json. So when you click on that, it's gonna open that up for you and take you to this property. Now, the good thing is inside of these JSON files inside of VS Code, uh, specifically this one, they give you great intellisense for uh, the keys and the values. So if I look here, I can tell this is a Boolean value. And I can just set this to true or false. So I can set this to true. And now if we go back, so now you can see that my arrows and things are updated. Oops, didn't mean to do that. So if I look at my arrows, you can see these are now this font ligature where it's combining these. Uh, you can see the triple equals is like that as well. Uh, double equals should do that. And you can see as I'm typing this, if I do one and then two, now it's going to, uh, well, usually combine, I guess it only does it for three and not for two, uh, which I guess makes sense. But anyway, 
So you can see I've got these font ligatures and this again is just something I'm a fan of. I, I think they look cool more than anything else, but it is worth noting that some people have concerns of readability for this. And especially for people who have never seen font ligatures, this is a risk that I take of them not understanding what that is and being confused by it. So take that with a grain of salt, understand that readability may be sacrificed a little bit, but to me, I think it's cool enough to, uh, to use. So anyway, Cascadia Code is my favorite font inside of VS Code. It's completely free. It only takes a minute or two to set up and then you get font ligatures with it as well. Now I do wanna show you one additional uh, font that I've used in the past is Fira Code. So almost the same type of thing here, exactly, exactly free. That's not what I meant to say. It's a free font. Uh, so you can download it, install it in a similar way and then also turn on uh, font ligatures as well. So another really cool font here. And then if you're looking for a paid font and you're getting, uh, kind of really out there and want to spend 40 bucks, I think, or 24 bucks. So it's not, or that's uh euro. So maybe it's, I don't know, some 30 to $40 uh, American is dank mono. I've always thought this is a really cool one. I've never spent the money on it. Understandably, if you don't want to, um, don't do it either, but it is a really cool font. So dank mono is another one that I'm a big fan of as well. So anyway, I hope that helped you kind of step up your VS code uh, customization experience. If you want to see any other VS Code tips or if you have a tip that you want to share, make sure to leave that in the description below. In the meantime, thanks for checking out the video and I'll catch you next time.